Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today we are going to discuss about uh, password and confirm password validations. So first of all, just I'm going to add a check hub for a and just I'm going to just remove it and just focus out that password is required. So check hub, um, check hub uh, Lafore, that is name and just confirm that password check. So the password is not actually confirmed. The, so confirm password is not same. So I will I will to check up that is the password will be same but the uh, remaining issues. So Lefore and uh, that is Lefore. Okay, but it's new stick. Okay. Lee for a so the password is same so you notice that the confirmed password and password validation is perfectly working but you notice that in the TypeScript file uh, here we have the reactor driven component .ts file and here you notice that your group is deprecated so uh, the controls a key uh, that is the time controls that is the form control uh, that these are the form control that is that these are the controls that is the form controls and you note that form builder have a uh, have a form group as well as form control so if you want to make it a uh, group inside in your form builder then you can see that form it's a type of form group like that so just removed it a uh, separate function so it's a form group so you know that a group is a collection of controls like that so just use again so here we have you can say that a key is a type of string and just have any values and options we have key and string and any values so form group is duplicated if you're looking like that form that is the key and that is the uh, another values like that so this is the duplicated so uh, the method is form builder dot group controls colon and that is, that is the controls so there is the controls and comma options again we have some options but assign that is the type of things you notice that so here we have uh, that is the parameter like that so here we have a parameter and these all are the form groups but you notice that uh, just we can define the type and what type of uh, the values so here we have the first thing that is that you must to, to define the types and also we have to define the types. So uh, here we have just after assigning the validators to the confirm validator just define the types like um, this is uh, as uh, form control options and you notice that there is the group it's resolved your problem is resolved just after defining the type so as this is the form form control options these are the form control options all these are the form control options okay so must to define the uh, the types uh, uh, that is that uh, like that any or you you want to uh, take this any and this is the type of things you can hit here so it's also removed okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to uh, Angular.